ओके गुड आफ्टरनून कम वेलकम टू कम ऑन लेट्स लर्न विथ आशीष एंड आई हैव द हर्षल हर्षल चंडेल ही हैज क्लियर द इंटरव्यू ऑफ द सिम्स एंड ग्रेट ईस्टर्न एंड ही इज गोइंग टू शेयर हिज इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस फर्स्ट Uh, first uh, going uh, going with sims and then with the great eastern then also he is going to share his preparation strategy okay first of all congratulations harshal uh, for getting select, uh, selected in uh, sims and uh, great eastern uh, thank you so much ashish and uh, thank you for inviting me okay Ca- can you share your interview experience uh, okay yes. i'll i'll share i'll start with the great eastern interview first uh, mm-hmm. because i have given it the interview first Okay. So, uh, I'll start with the questions. Uh, firstly, the interview was offline for the great distance. Hmm. I went to a campus and uh, then our uh, interview was held, and it was just fifteen minutes uh, interview. Hmm. So, firstly, it started off with uh, the non-technical part. He asked asked me uh, my name, so I told my name. Then he asked me about my family background. I told him the family background, like what my father. Uh, my father's occupation and what my mother is my uh, and also he asked me about my siblings so i told him that i have one younger brother uh, he just passed class 12 so then he asked me what are your uh, hobbies like what what you like to do in your free time so i have told him that so i like to uh, you know uh, do exercise and then uh, like i also like to meet people and uh, to take experiences from them and to share my experience as well also i like to travel and uh, i also like to ride uh, bikes as well so he was like okay so then he asked me why why do you want to join merchant navy uh, this was asked in both uh, great eastern and sims both so my answer was like sir um, as i belong to a, a navy background already like my dad was in navy earlier so he is navy officer so uh, it was in my blood only that uh, yes i have some uh, love towards sea and also uh, as i have told in my hobbies that i like to travel as well and i like to meet people as well so having the same uh, having the opportunity to travel and meet people uh, i'll be having my career as well along with me so all the folks i'm getting in the same industry so why not to join most in navy and also i have told uh, that uh, uh the uh, in the initial phase everybody looks for two things that is uh, financial stability and uh, the growth in their life so both these things we are getting here in the early age of our life so this is the reason i want to join merchant navy uh then he asked me about uh, great assistance technical part i'm starting mm-hmm. so he asked me about the uh, components in vcrs so i have told him so we have compressor condenser then dryer uh we have thermostatic expansion valve we have evaporator sensing bulb connected to the thermostatic expansion valve then he asked me uh where is the sensing bulb fitted so i have told him so between compressor and uh, evaporator the sensing bulb was fitted so he asked me how it is connected to the thermostatic expansion valve so i have told him so it is connected through a capillary tube so the direct action is happening on the thermostatic expansion valve So he asked me then uh, if it uh, if the action is happening on the thermostatic expansion valve, then what is the work of both these things, thermostatic uh, expansion valve and uh, t uh, the sensing bulb? So I have told sir, uh, if the sensing bulb is expanding or contracting, direct action is happening on the uh, thermostatic expansion valve, and uh, thermostatic expansion valve is uh, used uh, is used to regulate the flow of refrigerant to the evaporator. according to the uh, cooling condition or or the load as said then he asked me about boiler mounting so hmm. then i have uh, to i just i just i first asked them so should i have to uh, define it as well or should i just name the boiler accessory uh, boiler mounting so he said just name the boiler uh, mounting so i said uh, we have water level indicator uh, we have pressure gauge safety valve Steam stop wall, boiler blow down wall, some blow down wall, fusible plug, and I've also mentioned about uh, low water level shutdown, which was mentioned, uh, which was given in the dreamers package. But uh, after seeing that, I've said, sir, this water level indicator, I got to know this uh, from one of my friend who was working with BSN as a third engineer, so he told me about it. So he was like, okay, then uh, what do we have on board the ship? Like, uh, do we have fusible plug or water level indicator? 
sorry, uh, the uh, low, low water level shut down. So I said, sir, I just got to know that uh, we have low water level shut down most of the time on board the ship, but I'm not sure about it. Uh, so yeah, we have both the things. I think I said like that. Uh, I'm not sure about it. So he was like, okay. Then he uh, came to on my uh, major project. He asked me, what is your major project? So I told him, sir, it is electric uh, go pad. So he asked me, what all components we have used and what uh, what is the use of it? Like electric go pad. So I have told him, sir, basically on the roads, uh, I belong to Mumbai, so I have seen Vogo uh, electric vehicles and all these things people are using to travel from station to uh, uh, their offices. Like I stay in Bandra, so it's, uh, they travel from station to BKC uh, very easily with the help of it. But uh, what if we have a very big campus like the uh, campuses we have for marine time studies, like uh, Great Eastern, I have me- I just mentioned in their interview that Great Eastern, I have not mentioned some other colleges after mm-hmm. So the campus like this, so it will be very helpful for you guys only to travel from gate to the uh, building or to some place if you want to go because it is a very big campus, so it is for that purpose. So he asked me what all, uh, what all components we have used, I have told him the components, uh, then he didn't ask me anything because I was, I was confident about my project. Mm-hmm. So he just asked me one cross question like how many batteries you have used. So I have mm-hmm. told him so we have used two batteries. Then he asked me what battery you have used. So I have told him uh, I have used lithium ion battery. Mm-hmm. So uh, he was like okay and why have you used it. So I have told him so most of the time in the EVs we use lithium ion batteries because of the low cost and uh, high weight to power ratio and auto- also it is non explosive. Mm-hmm. So he was like okay. Then uh, lastly he said, uh, okay, Harshal, thank you, your interview is over. Uh, it was for Great Eastern. Okay. So uh, I was selected in Great Eastern then, I got the mail. Mm-hmm. Then starting off with Samundra, first he asked me my introduction. So about introduction, I would say, uh, you don't uh, say introduction like all the people are saying. Uh, it is just a common introduction like, yeah, my name is Harshal. And I'm doing this. I've completed my schooling, my college from the so and so. So it is a very repetitive kind of introduction. If you make it uh, some unique introduction, uh, so it will be very helpful for you because it is very ki- eye catching for them. Yeah, he, this guy has given some uh, different uh, uh, this uh, introduction. So I have made it like that. Uh, like I started off with you know, when he asked me introduce yourself. So I said. So I would like to introduce myself as a very patriotic kind of a personality because my uh, father had been served for the nation in Indian Navy uh, so I think it is in my blood and also my mother is a formal state level hockey player. Then I said, sir, uh, I think it's now my time to make them feel proud and let them realize that their son which is me, Harshil Chandil will definitely do something great in his life. So if you see, I have, uh, I have taken my family first and then in the middle I have said my name. So it is a unique kind of introduction. Then I have said, sir, uh, in this process of joining Merchant Navy, I think I have become more confident person because I have worked on my communication skills, my knowledge and my overall personality. So that had made me confident person and I am still learning more things. So after that I have said, sir, I think I am somebody who is fond of uh, uh, listening to music, watching movies, doing exercise, uh, meeting new people, riding different bikes and traveling as well. And I think I would be continue doing it along with my job. That's all about me. So it was like, okay, quite impressive uh, in, uh, introduction. So I was like, thank you, sir. Then he asked me the same question, why Monson, you have answered it uh, earlier only. Then he asked me uh, about my major project, the sa- uh, major project, the same thing I've answered. Then he asked me my height, what is your height? So I've told him, sir, my height is uh, 171 centimeter. Uh, he asked me in centimeters, so I have said 171 centimeters. And also he has asked me my weight. But weight, we know it's uh, unit is in Newton, right? So I have told him in the Newton first, I said uh, it is 6, uh, 86 Newton. And uh, in kgs, if you are asking my mass, it is uh, 70. So he was like, okay, thank you. Uh, it, was, it was a good uh, answer. Then he asked me about flow rate. So about technical things, I would say if you are going for any uh, interview, you should know the core concept of the uh, core concept of the uh, concept world. Because if you are explaining it uh, from the basics, they won't ask you many cross questions. 
So he asked me about units. So I have told him meter cube per second. Hmm. So he asked me how how that has come. So I have told him, sir, in one second it is traveling say v meter cube of uh, volume. So if you see that length, and if you multiply that length by area, so you will get that volume. So in one second that it is covering that much amount of volume. So he was like, okay, and then. He asked me about uh, devices that is used to measure flow rate. So I have named two devices that is orifice meter and venturi meter. Mm-hmm. So he has asked me uh, what is the uh, constant of uh, it, like for orifice meter. So I I have no I know it because uh, in my engineering they have taught it. So I remember that value. It was zero point six zero to zero point six five. So it was like okay, uh, and then. Um, Same thing as our boiler mounting, and uh, he didn't ask me about the uh, VCRS part, but he asked me boiler mm-hmm. mounting. I have named all the mounting, mm-hmm. and then he asked me about uh, the oceans around the world. Mm-hmm. So uh, first he asked me how many oceans we have in the world. So I said five oceans we have. Mm-hmm. Then he said name some oceans. So I have uh, told uh, mm-hmm. we have um, Pacific Ocean, uh, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, uh, Southern Ocean, and Arctic Ocean. Mm-hmm. So uh, he said okay, and then he asked me uh, CM of Kerala. Mm-hmm. So uh, I just remember his last name. So I said sir, I remember his last name, but I uh, do not remember his first name. It is uh, Jayavan something like that. Mm-hmm. At that time I have read it. So uh, he was like okay. So other than Kerala, whichever uh, CM you know, just name them. Other than Maharashtra, other than your state. Mm-hmm. So I said, oh, sir, I know uh, Yogi Adityanath of mm-hmm. UP. I know Kejriwal of Delhi, mm-hmm. and I know Mamta Banerjee of Kolkata. Mm-hmm. So she said, uh, he said, okay, uh, fine. Then uh, he asked me about the state, mm-hmm. north eastern state. He has asked me, uh, sorry, north western state. He has asked me. So I, I have named some north east, uh, north western state. And also he has asked me what is exactly at the west of uh, India. So I have. Said so it is Maharashtra. Hmm. So he said okay, fine. So then lastly he said um, uh, uh, I'm very happy with your uh, basic and your performance. Your basic is very clear. And uh, yes, uh, be in touch with our admission team. Mm-hmm. They will mail you. Uh, I said okay, sir. Thank you. And okay. he said uh, okay, your interview is over. So that that's all. Okay, okay. What was your preparation strategy for interview and as well as written exam? Okay, for the uh, I was firstly focusing on my uh, basic subjects from engineering because I am preparing it uh, uh, since second year. Mm-hmm. So I was prepare uh, I was just focusing on my basic subject like fluid mechanics, thermodynamics in second year, mm-hmm. then IC engine, turbo mm-hmm. machineries, and all these things. I was uh, uh, focusing on it. Then I bought Dreamers package in third year, mm-hmm. so I made all my notes from Dreamers package. So that gives you a boost. Mm-hmm. Right, because it clears a lot of your basics, and you get a, a overall idea about what topics you have to study. Right, okay. then only you can go uh, go ahead. Yes, yes. So I've the I've uh, I've made all my notes properly from Dreamers package. So basically, for the interview, I have a uh, Dreamers package. Along with that, I was referring to YouTube as well because I was uh, collecting all the questions uh, from the testimonial, and mm-hmm. I knew yeah all these kinds of questions are asking. So I used to. Uh, on youtube and i used to make my notes mm-hmm. then like uh, uh we used to have online sessions as well on uh, let's learn group mm-hmm. right uh, with avito gyan and all so we used to discuss that so a lot of things i have got to know from uh, that sessions as well mm-hmm. like yeah these are the questions uh, that I, i need to work on and uh, so that's how i made all my notes for interview for okay. electrical thing also the same thing happens uh, we have one video on let's learn group for 3 hours marathon video so i have made all the questions list and i have searched it on youtube and i have made all my notes mm-hmm. so this was for interview for the exam we know we have basic pattern like we have to uh, buy rs for me mm-hmm. right and we have to practice all the question we also have exam with an india bit so we can practice from uh, that website as well Did and, you practice uh, it at the numericals also in RS Kurmi? Yeah, a few of them. Yeah, uh, it was all basic uh, numericals, right? Hmm. RS Kurmi. Yeah. So you just have to apply the formula. If you know the concept well, you can apply that formula. Yeah. Right. 
so uh, practice from that and for uh, aptitude i have referred to uh, you, uh, youtube channel name uh, dear sir mm-hmm. okay so i have referred to all uh, or referred to all of his video and i have made my notes so that's how i cleared the exam and the interview okay and uh, which all subject uh, in rs kurmi all the subject you have studied whatever is not all the subjects uh, like we know what uh, what all questions will be asked because i was in touch with the students who were giving the exam okay so they told me you have to be uh, clear with your fluid mechanics uh, mm-hmm. then uh, thermodynamics i think mm-hmm. in part mm-hmm. uh, basic of uh, turbine not very much of it mm-hmm. but a basic thing i knew yeah. so uh, and then we have uh, vcrs also so mm-hmm. i was just practicing all these uh, also boiler things hmm. we have in the rs kurmi so i was practicing all this okay okay then are you planning for any other colleges like anglo or ims goa uh no right now i'm not uh, planning for anglo because uh, anglo is uh, anglo is giving you next year's batch right hmm. it's better to join in october's batch why to okay. wait so long and also okay. i have got to know here that uh, the sense is a very good institute training hmm. wise and everything Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, hello. Uh, can you listen, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Then and uh, IMS Goa also you are not trying, right? Other. Uh, for IMS Goa, uh, I thought uh, first I should uh, go with the Samundra's interview, and mm-hmm. if I feel like yes, I need uh, IMS Goa as well, so I'll fill it uh, form. Like I made the whole strategy, like when and what to do. Hmm. So I knew that the last uh, exam date of IMS Goa is 15th August, so we can still form the fourth time. Hmm. So I made all these strategy like if that's uh, not gonna happen, I'll do this. Hmm. So it's it's a very strategic game. If you if you are doing it very, uh, if you are making the plan, if you and if you are uh, applying it, then it will be good for you. Only. It will be like really very fast. Like in my case, what happened is. my uh, final semester exam got over say this wednesday and next wednesday was my greatest in the uh, interview mm-hmm. and it was cleared in one week only mm-hmm. so so uh, if you have a plan then it's good yeah okay then uh, uh, do you want to give any tips for the aspirants which uh, they are appearing in future exam or interview if you want to give i would say work on your basic things like don't go into very deep things like i have seen mm-hmm. most of the people what they do is they uh, do not work on their basics and they go on the uh, go in very deep hmm. so it's better to have a basic knowledge of the topic then you uh, if any cross question come that will help you a lot hmm. right and also yeah. while um, uh, everybody says uh, the communication skill matters the most in the hmm. because your first impression is your last impression yeah right so uh, before the interview Uh, you just uh, stay calm. Don't touch books before you interview. Mm-hmm. Before one hour, just stay calm. Uh, right. And also for the communication skills, I would say uh, talk slowly. Mm-hmm. Don't talk fast because if you're talking fast, uh, you'll fumble. And if you're mm-hmm. talking slow, you'll you'll get some time to think mm-hmm. before you speak. So that's what uh, tips I want to give. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much and uh, congratulations again for getting selected in both the institute okay thank you so much ashish okay bye bye